Uh, you know, when I was shopping around for uh, security systems, home security systems for this place, I probably really should have gone ahead and spent the extra money and gotten a regular burglar alarm system like other people. But the salesman from this particular uh, security firm was just so convincing. He was a big, tall, older fellow in a black suit. And, well, he seemed to think this was the best uh, as far as, uh, you know, discouraging burglaries and that kind of thing and uh, putting a stop to any criminal activities inside the, the home. Well, anyway, um, <clears throat> never mind. Uh, this is Creepy Cheapies, where we point out cool, worthwhile, interesting Halloween masks uh, at affordable prices for all your haunting needs. So, Halloween uh, fans, this week I'd like to recommend this guy. This is Putrid. I don't mean it smells bad. I mean, it, I really mean this is putrid. That's what they call it. And he's from Ghoulish Productions. And you can see, I have left the tag on this one, so it says right there, Ghoulish Productions. And look at that price. Can you see that? Of course not. So I'm going to tell you. It says $34.99. $34.99. Not bad. This is uh, this is um, a lot of zombie for $35, bucks, really. And... Um, the nice thing is, now here's why I'm recommending this guy. You might be thinking, ah, it's a little nondescript for Dr. Lady, isn't it? But here's why I'm recommending uh, Putrid. He's very unusual in the world of zombie masks in that he looks completely non-glamorized, I guess is what I'm trying to say. A lot of zombie masks kind of have like a Hollywood movie makeup coolness to them. Not this guy. This guy uh, from Ghoulish Productions just looks completely gross and disgusting and hideous and looks like his skin is falling off and is just disgusting and is not really uh, monsterified very much which makes him uh, a great choice if you're having a scene involving dead bodies uh, for Halloween this would be a great one to put on a, a dummy on the floor or somewhere uh, just to look disgusting and dead. The only thing they've, they've done that makes him maybe not look completely realistic is that eyeball hanging out. It's a little unlikely, but it could happen. But it, that's a little bit in the cool looking zombie uh, theme area. But as for the rest of him, he's just disgusting and gross and horrible and uh, really looks like his skin is, is falling off and is severely decayed. He's got a, a stipple paint uh, or, or sponge painted. A stipple paint job with different colors of like brown and some pink highlights and he's really gross and nasty looking and uh, well if, if yeah this looks like to me like a dead body might actually look if you found one in the ditch uh, you know that the police hadn't uh, noticed yet because again it isn't very monster fight it's just gross and ugly and um, not that every mask should be gross and ugly like that but this one is very unusual in that it doesn't have the Hollywood coolness look. It just looks like uh, maybe maybe more like something from the old Italian zombie movies of the uh, late 70s and early 80s like Zombie or Dr. Butcher MD or Burial Ground or something like that where the zombies were just gross and nasty and uh, pretty realistic, pretty disturbing I think. 35 bucks if you can get one for 35, 40, 45, doing pretty good. Uh, got a nice generous bib there if you do want to wear it. Has a slit up the back if you do want to wear it. And uh, obviously it's made to be wearable. It has uh, slits trimmed above the eyes and it has the nostrils trimmed out and it's got a nice uh, bloody, wet, moist look to it. Really disgusting, really sickening, nauseating, stomach turning zombie right here. So uh, there you go. Uh, putrid. Good night and drive safely.